Welcome back to Anointed to Bling, everyone. It's your girl, Rain, here with another installment to my wedding vlog series. I am still showing you some of the mirror tile pedestals and vases. These particular pictures are some of the inspirations that I saw from a local shop, and I decided to try to figure out how to make these. So I'm going to show you today how I took these ridiculously ugly, very old-fashioned, pretty much atrocious lampstands, pulled them apart, redesigned them to create my own version of those pedestals that you saw and turned them into this absolutely stunning set of two pedestals. Now these will have flower arrangements that will sit on top of them and complement the two main vases that were my initial inspiration very, very well. And I'm going to show you how to make these for way less than half the cost. And if you want to find out how I did it, stay tuned for the tutorial coming up next. So I want to show you that inspiration again. I'm sorry that uh, iMovie, uh, which is my editing software, tends to letterbox. But this pedestal was the initial inspiration. And I think it's absolutely beautiful. It is the match to some of the vases that I've already purchased uh, for the ceremony. Again, I'll link back to some of the other vases that I made where you can see that inspiration. And she was selling these for... $94. I also happened to see some very similar in the furniture store, which was a couple of the pictures that you saw earlier that were selling anywhere from $149 to $249. And I was able to make two for less than $50. And to be honest, I actually like mine better. So I wanted you to see the inspiration again. Let's get started on creating our own pair. So here are those lamps again. Again, I picked these up at the Goodwill. I'm gonna go through the supplies here in just a second. I actually really liked them. What drew me is I was looking for a base that was this shape and that was really hard to find. I was trying to build it, trying to find pieces. So this was really, really perfect. $14.99 per lamp felt like a bit much to me given that it was at the Goodwill, but I picked them up anyway because really they were absolutely perfect for this project. And you'll wanna just make sure that you can actually take Take the lamp portion of it off if you choose to use some lamp stands. I'm also going to use this styrofoam here that I picked up for five bucks at Hobby Lobby. I also stopped over in the craft section, not the candle section, and I picked up some 12 inch round mirrors that I'm going to attach to that styrofoam to create the base. I chose not to use the mirror tiles for the very top like the inspiration. Here is some trim that I actually went ahead and splurged on. It's a little expensive guys. It's probably about uh, 11 bucks I wanna say per yard. And I needed two yard for uh, each one of the stands that I'm making. But I thought it was really, really pretty and I did not want to pass it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and begin to prepare these atrocities and try to turn them into something absolutely amazing. So I wanted to show you one that I've painted so you can do a compare and contrast. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? It looks really, really different already. I love when these projects begin to take shape. Now this is just one coat of paint. Uh, I'm gonna go over it again to make sure that that's coated. Because it's brown, when you're using a lighter color, you definitely wanna take the time to make sure that you use that paint and you saturate it. I just used a, a beige paint from Walmart called Ivory Satin Paint. And here it is with them both painted. I've got a good coat on there and again you just want to take your time and make sure that you get a really even uh, coat. Don't spray too close to avoid dripping. I found that I made that mistake but I really like how these are shaping up. 
So while my lampstands are drying, I'm gonna go ahead and just pull off these little feet that they put on the back of these mirrors. They are not needed and you wanna make sure that the mirror lays flush against that styrofoam that we bought and showed you earlier. Now initially, I painted that styrofoam and I'll talk about that in a sec. I'm just running this E6000 along the edges of this circle and a little more in the center not a whole lot but enough to really adhere it to that styrofoam now initially i was going to leave one side um, as just styrofoam which is why you saw me turn it over and you saw that it was cream i did change my mind and i decided to add two mirrors because i didn't like the way it looked i thought it looked cheap here I am just taking my hot glue gun. You want to be careful with hot glue and styrofoam. And I am attaching that awesome trim. Please forgive the sunlight. I wasn't aware that I was that close to the light so you couldn't really see it. But here they are after they are done. Doesn't that look stunning? I really like how these came out. Again, that that wrap around the edging was a bit of a splurge but you can use your 40 percent off it was totally totally worth it i did put mirrors on both sides because i didn't want it to look cheap as i said but you could use these as a cake stand you could use some dollar tree candle holders to build up some height and make like a two or three tier dessert tray i mean this is absolutely gorgeous i love these and i will probably do another project where you will see these featured as something because as I'm looking at it I'm getting some major ideas for my dessert uh, room and some of the stands that I want to build to put on those tables so thank God for a whole lot more time to make this even more fabulous so what you see here is cut up uh, flowers from the flower bling wrap that I got at Amazon and I'm just putting that on here in a circular motion just to fill in those circles I had so many ideas but I settled on this one what you won't see for some reason the clip is missing inside of those uh, roses I put a small pearl small flat back pearl so I did not leave them as they are but you will see that as at the end and you can use whatever glue you like to adhere that to your base Okay, check it out. Look at the progress that we're making. This looks really, really cool already. I'm so excited about this, I can't contain myself. So as you can see, I took some of my regular bling wrap and just highlighted uh, those uh, places where I thought that the five inch mirrors may not fit. Now I did discover as I began to put the mirrors on that this wasn't a totally necessary step, but you can still see the bling, but I really, like this i mean you really could leave this like this of course i'm over the top so i'm not going to so now i'm just going to go through and and show you a little bit about how i am adhering these five millimeter mirrors there's a really really sticky back on here that i discussed in one of the other videos that i will upload and i'm just following just a regular pattern now remember as a tip when you're putting squares on something round it's never going to be perfect it's never going to be completely even you're going to have a little bit of gapping and imperfection but that's okay keep moving keep going i promise that the end result is absolutely stunning also remember these are mirrors this is glass and i've got the mini cuts on my fingers <laughs> to prove that it's glass so as you're flattening these as you're sticking them on just be mindful that it is glass and you don't want to cut yourself now here is where things got tricky when i began to prepare the top of this lamp to put that mirrored uh, base that i was going to put on it i initially assumed that the top of this lamp was flat so i kept this clip because if you have something that is perfectly flat this is a good way to do it because i want a more permanent hold as you know hot glue tends to come apart i am using the e6000 here it's an older tube i'm almost done so i am ferocious Cautiously squeezing that out and I'm trying to cover that base as much as possible so that when I lay that mirror it will lay as flat as possible and here you see me putting the uh, hot glue on there what that's going to do is hold the mirror in place while that E6000 cures a little bit later in this particular clip you see me putting that base on or that top piece on from the top I'm also going to show you another way that I did it because after I did this it ended up coming apart 
So here is some iron grip, which I think is a phenomenal godsend. So I've cleaned off the top of that base and I started over. And what I'm doing is I'm laying that glue just really more toward in the center because again, these bases were not perfectly flat and it was not adhering uh, to the mirror in the way that I wanted. And I needed to make sure that this would stay. I had a little bit of trouble with the gun and getting that glue out of there, so this is why you see it all glopped on. But this is a good amount. You don't really need this much, um, but again, I was having trouble with that stupid gun. It, the air pressure was absolutely ridiculous. Now, what I'm doing here, instead of putting that mirror on from the top, in order to make sure it is centered, I decided to turn the lampstand over. Duh, should have did that in the beginning because what you don't want is to adhere it and then have to pull it off and start all over. What I love about Iron Grip is that it takes time to dry and gives you a little bit of room to go ahead and move that around. So I let that sit for a little bit. It probably takes up to about five minutes. Depending on how much uh, you use, you may wanna let it sit a little bit longer. In this particular instance, the pressure of the weight of that lampstand worked out in my favor. I'm just taking that E6000 and I'm getting in that gap and I'm just filling that gap in with the E6000. I can't really say it's helping a whole, whole lot because again, it's not a totally flat surface. And then I'm taking my awesome spray that I got from the Dollar Tree and just cleaning up up any excess glue that got on the mirror. I also went back with my hot glue gun and I ran that hot glue gun in between the gap. I mean, for me, it was all about making sure I sealed it up and you can always cover that with some bling wrap just to hide that. And here we are at my favorite part of any tutorial I do. Look at how stunning these came out. I, I like them better than the initial inspiration. When I tell you I was running to every Salvation Army, Goodwill, Dollar Tree, 99 cent store, Dollar General even, any store I could find to try to find pieces to build this base, I was never going to be able to do this as effectively as using these amazing lampstands that I found. So it's a, it's a good way to create what you're typically seeing in furniture stores using the lampstands. Now I did discover many, many imperfections in the lampstands after I did the work. For example, one was just a little bit taller than the other, but you know what? I can't complain. You find those imperfections when you start decorating. I am gonna go back and cover underneath um, the top part with some bling wrap just to hide the imperfection but I really love how these came out they are absolutely gorgeous and all I'm going to do is sit a flower arrangement on top of it now this is the original vase these are the I bought two of these excuse me from a local vendor in Modesto California and I really, really like them. Unfortunately, you know, uh, iMovie condenses so you can't see the full height. But they're really tall, about 36 inches tall. And so I wanted something really complimentary to these, as I said in a couple of other vase tutorials. And then here's mine again. So you can see how it really complements those vases. I almost like it better if I'm being completely honest with you, but I had so much fun doing these that I will probably make a ton more and sell them in my shop. Anyway, I won't bore your patience any longer. If you like this project, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Share me, subscribe. You know how it works. Until next project, remember you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. See you soon, guys.